So we're here at Doug's shop, and Doug just went to True Tech Tools and got his order in, just called me up. He got a new scale, so he has the new field piece SR74. He got the temperature sensors, the other one you can see right there through the glass and the dash. He got the yellow jacket. He didn't get the cheap knockoffs, so he got the yellow jacket uh, coupling adapters. He got the True Blue hose. Actually, we had we used mine. His is over there. This is his old unit, and his old unit has some problems, and we found out we couldn't use. He actually has a leak in the vacuum because the micron level would only go down to 1,200 microns and it would stall out, and so there was a leak in his system. So that didn't go over very well. So we switched over to my old vacuum pump. That'll go in the garbage. Yeah, that'll go in the garbage, <laughs> and uh, it still works as a recovery, a recycle unit right recycle yeah. Yeah. yeah okay so it still works as a recycle unit it just no longer works for the vacuum uh, how about the recovery part does it do the recovery i need to use the hoses though okay so we'll jerry rig something up where yeah. you could use the mr4 this is not the mr45 where we could use the mr45 he could recover using the mr45 and then he can recycle his using the recycle equipment in his old unit and change his filter dryers that were never changed in 30 years <laughs> and uh, and still recycle his refrigerant without purchasing, you know, a recycler until you need to get the YF. When he talks about getting a YF, that'll be a different thing. But we're getting ready to charge this up. So, Doug, um, turn off the low side fitting. So these are Doug's brand new gauges. And now turn off your vacuum. And you're 550 grams, so you already zeroed out here. So now you gotta train your eye to, um, and your hand, because you're used to an automatic machine and not doing this yes. manually. So it's a learning curve. And um, so you're just gonna be opening and watching this and determine, now you don't wanna jerk this too much because if you jerk it too much, well, we're, we're good right here. It, yeah. yeah, you don't wanna bump your cabinet or do anything like that. So now open that and put in 550 grams and that's it. So Doug's gonna order the MR55 from True Tech Tools. He took a picture of my vacuum pump. He's gonna order the 10 CFM, uh, what was that, the VP X7. So he'd be ordering one of those. He just found out that he needed the tank adapter that's acne, because uh, the 134 tanks for automotive have acne threads on them. And so he had to go from acne to quarter inch. This is my old hose. Uh, you do have a yellow hose somewhere, right? It came with yeah. the kit, yeah. Just forgot to put it on there. And uh, he has to get one of these small adapters, which he won't need, because when you buy this, you'll be able to use the big bulky cast on here and you don't need to buy that second little adapter because you're not trying to use your funky little pump. And our screen tapped off for uh, saving the batteries in the field piece. And he's dialing in his uh, 550, he's being very cautious. He's not like I am crazy on my videos going right off to the last nanosecond and shutting it off right at 550. When you start, you can overshoot really easy. And um, so this was his old unit that has getting partially retired. He, he thought he could use his vacuum pump, but he discovered that was bad. Look at that, baby. 550, that's what we're looking for. And then uh, he's gonna use, utilize the recovery part of this for the recycling so he could recycle. You see, he used to do R12 too. Okay, so now close your high side, start up the vehicle. And you know what I'd like to do? I, I've always, I was telling Doug this a minute ago, I want five or six ports on a gauge. I want one to go to a nitrogen tank for nitrogen. You have the, this, you have one for refrigerant. Yeah, I want an extra port and I want a bigger sight glass. I want a big sight glass 
and a big sight glass on the back to that light through so you can see your refrigerant clearly. I want, I want a sight glass twice as big with lightning. Yeah, LED light. Yeah, that's what I want. You hear me, field piece? I want a LED <laughs> backlit large diameter sight glass. All right. Love field piece. Okay, I'll get back to you guys. He's just learning how to use his field piece software on his phone. So this is a new thing too for him. And uh, today's day number one. All right.